what is up you guys welcome back to the channel my name is mo i'm a long time real estate agent and real estate investor and i promise you guys some content on this house that i purchased right here uh the purchase price on this house was 35 grand and it has a big spread in it so uh the arv after repairs is about two hundred and ten thousand uh, dollars which is a great return on my investment that's if we can get it sold uh, once we fix it up all right so these houses right here are some of the best houses you can buy off market deals uh, i'm here in georgia uh, Carrollton, georgia to be exact and i'm gonna walk you through this house right here kind of give you some uh, insight on flipping insights on you know what to look for expenses and stuff like that so uh, we got an estimated uh, rehab budget of about seventy thousand dollars all right and uh, that's going to pretty much uh, fix the house up from the Rudy to the Tootie. All right. Um, a lot of your expenses, things like your dumpster right here. So this dumpster right here ran us about $425, okay? Um, but if I get another dumpster, I fill this one up to the rim, I got to get another dumpster, then I'll um, have to spend like $350. So that's how I got my trailer out here today to... Uh, do it myself if we got to on um, that way we can cut on costs and expenses um demo so i got um a few of my guys in here working demo on this house is like six hundred dollars so this is a three bedroom one bath house um but we're adding a bathroom and i know it kind of seemed kind of funky like how can you add a bathroom to a small house like this well you'll see um you'll see what it'll look like once we finish but this is the master bedroom and so we plan on adding a bathroom in here and what we would do is to kind of move that door over a little bit and make it where you can actually this is a door where you can walk in and then you'll have a sink toilet and then shower it's kind of hard to imagine but we all have our plans drawn out so that's a great thing for you to do as well have your plans drawn out how you want to um, make the house look and turn it over. This is an old house, it has been sitting. It was built in 1974, but it's been sitting for a while. So uh, as y'all can see, uh, we done pretty, pretty much already done, you know, gutted the entire house um, for the most part. Right now we're just doing a lot of cleaning. And um, the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll frame it up. So um, that'll be the next thing. So anytime you have a house like this from a blank canvas and you get all your permits and stuff like that, the next thing you have to do is frame it up, you know, um, wherever it needs framing it. So if you have any wood that needs to be replaced, uh, whatever, you know, go ahead and do that. Uh, then you call in for your inspection from the county or whatever. Um, as y'all can see uh, right here behind me, this is the permit. So um, here in this county right here, the permits was kind of easy peasy where uh, I didn't have to um, do a whole lot. So I was able to serve as my own uh, contractor for, let me show y'all real quick. So I was able to serve as my own contractor for plumbing, electrical, and HVAC, all right? But I also want to make it known to you guys that um, just because you can serve as your own contractor, you can do all the work. The thing is, you just gotta get a professional to do the work, all right? I don't do HVAC, electrical, or plumbing, all right? Just wanna make that known. But um, there's a lot of stuff that I know how to do, but those things, those trades, I, I don't do. Okay, uh, this is the back. So, so quite a bit of land that the uh, house sit on. Um, this is the back part right here. Y'all can see that. Like I said, um, today we'll be going up under the house, cleaning up all up under the house, and then we'll lay plastic all up underneath there as well. And then I'll uh, probably put a board, uh, repair that wood, put a board under there, close it up so um, nothing can get up under there. So, um, because uh, I don't know if you guys know, crawl spaces can hold moisture, so hence why we're putting plastic on, up underneath it. All right, um, the house sit on a, a septic tank. It's on a septic system. Septic system runs over here. 
right back here, you can see right here, this is the sep septic system. It runs all the way back to the back right there. All right. So that's another thing to note when you're purchasing a house, if it's on septic, if it's on sewer, all of that stuff make a difference. But uh, the only thing about a septic system is you gotta have it serviced from time to time. Maybe like four, four to five years or something like that. All right. So, and uh, trying to make sure that I kind of touched on every little thing. But I can't wait for you guys to see, you know, what the house is going to look like once I uh, get it all together. Once we, you know, because this is the ugly, this is the ugly part that people don't see, or the ugly part that people can't foresee. Uh, fixing the house up and getting it ready and making it look pretty good. Yeah, it's small, but you know um, Here in the Atlanta metro area uh, Houses are expensive now. And so uh, the average house in the metro is about 400,000 and I mean, I feel like once I put this house up for sale people gonna run to it for 210 It's about 30 minutes 45 minutes outside of the uh, metro area. So it's a real gym real quiet area it's on the outskirts of town, but it's on a, in a great area, you know, uh, where people are in a desirable area. So that's pretty cool. All right. So y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in. Um, if you interested in shadow me on this project right here, um, I'm open to, uh, to mentorship on uh, these type of projects as well. Uh, also, like and subscribe so I can continue to bring you this type of content. All right. So y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.